Okay, so the next Bloody Mary we're gonna try today is gonna be our spicy Bloody Mary. And it might sound a little funny, but we're gonna use some oil and vinegar in this Bloody Mary. Take your lemon or lime wedge, run it around the rim of your glass. Now you can choose a sriracha sea salt, or you can choose our scorpion pepper infused sea salt. I'm going with my favorite, the scorpion pepper. This is the hottest salt in the world. We are gonna go with an ounce and a half of Tito's Texas Vodka. Dash of celery salt. This is a Serrano honey vinegar. It's gonna add a little bit of uh, acidity and sweetness and spiciness to your Bloody Mary. I'm just gonna do a dash. This is gonna be in place of Worcestershire sauce. The next thing I'm gonna put in is gonna be a Bakluti green chili olive oil. Now the Bakluti green chili is a rare chili coming out of Tunisia. It's very much like a hatch, only a good bit hotter. So this is great for a floater on your Bloody Mary. And because we're doing a spicy Bloody Mary, I've got some of my homemade Tabasco sauce. Maybe some horseradish. We'll do a little bit extra, a little bit more than we did with the last ones. We're gonna take a little bit of this olive juice from the green chili stuffed olives and add it right into our Bloody Mary mix. Four times as much tomato juice as you had vodka, so about six ounces. Some fresh cracked pepper always. Shake it up real good and get all of that oil mixed in. We're gonna do a jalapeno pepper because this is a spicy Bloody Mary. Green chili stuffed olive, pickled mushroom. We'll go ahead and garnish with the lime and the lemon. But we're gonna stick the lemon right in some sriracha salt. Nice big stock of celery and lime. Just a spicy Bloody Mary. Uh, no fancy schmancy extras. If you like it hot, you'll love this. 